It's Gianna Love, activist in crypto, but we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news of crypto and blockchain technology. I'm still in New York City. I'm dog sitting again. Currently, though, all dogs are napping. If you see a dog pop up, it'll probably come from around there. Today, I have a real quick update for the clown community. I know a lot of folks have been asking about Web3, what that even means, and what the future holds for Web3 wallets on Cardano. So I want to go over what that means. Here's a tweet. Input Output Global, the research and development arm of the Cardano blockchain tweeted. Web3 wallets on Cardano are leading the way in improving and increasing economic growth and improving financial health in emerging markets, offering greater access to decentralized financial services, security, and financial autonomy. This thread dives into Web3 on Cardano. So first, let's go over the definition. One, Web3, also known as decentralized web, represents a transition from the centralized control of Web2 to a more distributed and user-centric digital landscape. Two, built on blockchain technology, Web3 includes decentralized applications, DApps, decentralized finance, DeFi, and digital identity solutions that empower users and drive inclusion. We're gonna say DApps, it's gonna catch on. DApps are decentralized applications. We actually also have a tip jar now called DApps, that's our ADA handle. So if you want to support the channel, I'll link it down below. Number three, key features of what they include. Decentralization, no more centralized management, means users own and control their data and assets. Trustlessness, users do not need to trust intermediaries and interoperability. Greater collaboration between various blockchains and applications. Web3 has a lot of potential to disrupt the existing systems. Number four, Web3's potential to disrupt TradFi systems of traditional finance systems is rooted in its ability to enhance security and privacy through blockchain tech, provide accessibility and scalability, support global adoption and usage, use smart contracts and DeFi to create more accessible and inclusive services. There's a lot of reasons why Cardano will lead the way in the Web3 space. Number five, Cardano is a blockchain that emphasizes decentralization, scalability, and sustainability. It aims to drive financial inclusion through its efficient smart contract capabilities. Cardano was proof of stake from the get-go. That was even before Ethereum decided to make that move. That makes it a lot more energy efficient, and it doesn't require large energy intensive supercomputers. Number six, Web3 wallets on Cardano let users store and manage digital assets and enjoy access to World of DApps and DeFi services. Lace.io is one example of the growing list of Cardano Web3 wallets. Lace is a brand new white wallet on the Cardano blockchain. If you want to check it out, I'll link the info down below. Number seven, despite all the benefits, Web3 wallets still face some challenges and limitations. To truly achieve widespread adoption, blockchain technology needs to be more visible and better understood. Number eight, and that's not all. Governments must also develop regulations to accommodate the rapid growth and adoption of Web3 wallets and related services. So here are some more resources if you want additional info. Number nine, visit the latest website to learn more about how Web3 wallets on Cardano drive inclusion and explore the waste platform. And finally, number 10, follow Input Output HK and turn on notifications to stay updated on developments in Web3 and on Cardano. So there's a lot of growth happening in Web3 space for Cardano. I hope this information was helpful for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's it for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Feel free to share this with your friends and enjoy this content. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.